My name is Noctula Zimba. I'm from Kamano Seed, Sales and Marketing Manager. Kamano is a Zambian seed company owned by a businesswoman. She, they started this with a husband in 2004. Uh, we have about 50 workers working in our various provinces. We actually, the problem that we sorted before we, start, we started Kamano Seed was rampant use of uh, GMOs and recycled seed. So what we basically offer to the farmers, what makes us unique is that we work hand in hand with the cooperatives we have farmer field schools where we know that if we, the way I gave you that brochure, we say that if you buy Kamano seed, you get this tonnage of seed back. But mostly in the reality of the market, farmers in Zambia don't attain the cages or the tonnages that we write on our brochures. So as Kamano seed, we have this innovation of teaching the farmers on nutrition, how to convert local foods into sustainable foods that they can sell, how to convert a local, if you take maize to convert it into scones and cake. We also teach them about agribusiness. We know we deal with small business enterprises like agro dealers, but we also check to the co cooperatives where a farmer can buy straight in their community without using any money to go to the shops. So our turnover is very okay. For the past three years, we had from 2015, we had about 220. US dollars. 2016, we had 250. Then 2017, we have 356. So we've been growing as Kamano Seed. We do, we, our passion is to work with the small scale farmers and elevate them. So what we do, our seed is to enhance the livelihoods of women and youths. 70% of the people that we deal with are, ha they are financially strained. So we work with them, and these are the youths as women. So what I can say is we have machinery, we have everything that we need, we produce seed, but what is lacking in our company is market power. We need to reach to the furthest person. So we're asking for $150 to help us enhance our marketing strategy and also reach the furthest poorest farmer to distribute and give them a better way of agriculture practices, the lessons that they get from how to go about the seed to get a high protein and a high yield at the end of the day. Thank you. Thank you. No, no could before the jury uh, dive into you and uh, we recognize the departure of the, the ambassador from the United States. Please explain uh, who is Stephen Tembo and how did he get into the <laughs> official program? Okay, uh, Stephen Tembo is our seed consultant. Uh, so the, where is he? He's in trouble. Uh, so he was communicating to Stephen Tembo and I was given the platform because I'm in marketing and sales. So that's how we sent to him a correction. He just didn't want to correct. I'm sure he okay, had. Okay, okay, it was, it, was it was a printer's error. Yes. No problem. <laughs> so Stephen didn't make it. <laughs> Stephen was a, Nijari between Hivos and me. I'm glad you came. <laughs> I don't know Stephen, <laughs> but I'm happy you're here. <laughs> Thank you for getting that, sir. I was struggling there, but you got it. Okay, so you got your breath back. Your heart's not beating mm -hmm. so fast. You've done your presentation. Jury? No. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for your presentation and um, I think uh, I really appreciate your efforts to reach out farmers in uh, remote areas. I similarly appreciate your uh, explicit uh, focus on nutrition, which is one of the key challenge that uh, people are facing and particularly the children that we have been seeing before in the presentation from Sunday and women uh, reproductive age or lactating uh, so I think that uh, training that you provide 
uh, to uh, people on how to transform food to maximize the benefits from the nutritional properties of the foods. It's something that really struck me. So thank you. It's very important work. Yes, thank you. I like your company. Um, I thank you for sharing the crowd figures uh, with us. Uh, so you can calculate a little bit uh, what you're doing. And I think as actually the, the money that you ask also relates to the turnover that you're making. So that's nice. And I have my statistics in mind yeah, because investing is about spreading risk and about um, about knowing the history and i know that uh, actually companies that are led by female entrepreneurs are outperforming guys beware the 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 companies uh, led by men like me unless by the way they are selected because they are women because then they are underperform so that's the the thing, but you didn't select them because they were women, so that that's 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 a that's a that's a nice fact. Um, and I also like the clean cleanliness of your presentation, and the fact that you handed us the flyer because we are seeing a lot of people. And then we who, who was that? Oh yeah, that was the one that gave us the flyer. So you're doing a small thing that makes us remember you. Smart. Thank you.